It all started with the election. There was a lot of anger. There was a lot of anger. There was a lot of anger, obviously. Was, you know, pure and utter shock. We wanted to spread a message and just spread the love, and that's all that the love and powers really means. I think the whole thing came out of um, discussions we had over, you know, the elections and things like that. The atmosphere on campus, the atmosphere in the locker room was just, I mean, I think it was, you know, pure and utter shock. I think it came from our conversations as a team that started and we said, you know, what can we do? Here's what we're thinking, here's what we're feeling. What are some avenues that we have to voice what we, you know, what we're thinking and what we're feeling? Originally, Coach Cole and I met um, just to kind of talk about what we wanted to do. We wanted to do something that we felt would kind of catch on. When we decided upon the shirt, uh, we know that Gabby is especially artistic. I just kind of wanted to like encompass, um, especially the groups that our team is a part of, being both the white and black community and the LGBTQA community. So we brought it to her and kind of said, you know, these are things we want to incorporate on the shirt. And we kind of thought about all the things that had been brought up with the election and, and um, the groups that had been discriminated against. And we wanted to incorporate all of those into the picture and the message. We said, we want the American flag. We want um, multiple races to be celebrated. And we want LGBTQA community to be celebrated. Knowing that was like our home base, that's really what we wanted to you know, stand united on. So incorporating the uh, red, orange, yellow, green, blue it was a big thing and then just kind of having the white hand shaking the black hand was kind of like an idea we were playing with and it ended up turning out really well. It was a great exercise in how we can take what we think and what we feel and shape it into a message that not only says what we really want it to say but also that people will hear. I think a variety of different feelings because for people that have felt they've been discriminated against or felt that they have had unique struggles because of the way they look or you know um, their sexual orientation or, or whatever, we want them to feel like they you know have a voice. I think the message that we want this T-shirt and um, you know uh, us wearing them and things like that to have on people that see it is just again that that positive message that that tolerance and all people are equal. I think about it on another level of how the chain always starts somewhere, so when we went down to Cancun, you know, we see fans of teams from Mississippi coming up to us and saying, oh my god, these shirts are so awesome, you guys should sell them, all this stuff, and it's just, it's really great to know that a message that's so strong to our team is also impacting people on the outside. We don't want to say that we are against anyone. We just want to say that we have all this love to give and we would love to give it out. And through tolerance, we can be more powerful. Just knowing that the presence of that attitude is in the gym can change a lot of people's minds.